For someone you know been feeling different lately, with mood swings, a fast heartbeat, losing hair, and losing weight without knowing why. Imagine waking up one day, and everything seems to be changing in ways you didn't expect. We want you to come along on a journey where everyday life turns into something unusual. We're going to explore why these changes might be happening, and your thoughts could be really important. Have you or your loved ones felt these things? What do you think is causing it? Share your ideas as we tell a story that might connect with your own experiences. Sometimes, stories can help us understand things better. Are you excited to uncover this mystery with us? Tanya, a cheerful What happens if hyperthyroidism is left untreated? Hyperthyroidism can impact many parts of your body. Different systems, ranging from your vascular system, heart, to your skeletal system, bones, can all be affected if you have an overactive thyroid. Complications from untreated or undertreated hyperthyroidism include atrial fibrillation, stroke, congestive heart failure, osteoporosis, if you're experiencing symptoms of hyperthyroidism, it's important to see your healthcare provider so they can determine a proper diagnosis and recommend treatment. Doctor, what are the risk factors for hyperthyroidism? Some factors that could increase your risk of developing hyperthyroidism can include having a family history of thyroid disease, having a medical history that includes conditions like pernicious anemia, type 1 diabetes, and primary adrenal insufficiency, Addison's disease. Having a lot of iodine, a mineral that your body uses to make thyroid hormones, in your diet. Being pregnant. Doctor. What is the outlook, prognosis, for hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism is a manageable and treatable condition, and most people do well with treatment. While some forms of treatment require you to take medication for the rest of your life, your thyroid hormone levels will be normal. Unfortunately, untreated hyperthyroidism caused by Graves' disease may get worse over time and cause complications. If you have Graves' disease, ask your healthcare provider questions about how you can best manage your condition. Doctor, can hyperthyroidism be cured? Yes, there is a permanent treatment for hyperthyroidism. Removing your thyroid through surgery or destroying your thyroid through medication will cure hyperthyroidism. However, once your thyroid is removed or destroyed, you'll need to take thyroid hormone replacement medications for the rest of your life. Your body still needs thyroid hormones, just not at such high levels as you have in hyperthyroidism. Though you'll need to take the medication doctor, are there complications of hyperthyroidism? Thyroid storm, thyroid crisis or thyrotoxic crisis is a rare but serious complication of hyperthyroidism. It happens when your thyroid makes and releases a large amount of thyroid hormone in a short amount of time. Thyroid storm is a life-threatening emergency that requires immediate medical attention. Symptoms of thyroid storm include High fever, a temperature between 104 degrees to 106 degrees Fahrenheit is common. Rapid heart rate, tachycardia, that can exceed 140 beats per minute. Feeling agitated, irritable, and or anxious. Delirium. Congestive heart failure. Loss of consciousness. A complication of Graves' disease, one of the causes of hyperthyroidism, is called Graves' eye disease, Graves' ophthalmopathy. This condition can usually not be prevented. Graves' eye disease can cause the following complications, bulging eyes. Vision loss. Double vision. Light sensitivity. Doctor, when should I see my healthcare provider? If you're experiencing signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism, it's important to see your healthcare provider so they can assess your condition and recommend treatment. If you've already been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, you'll likely need to see your provider regularly to make sure your treatment is working. If you're experiencing signs of thyroid storm, a complication of hyperthyroidism, such as a high fever and a very fast heart rate, get to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. Can hyperthyroidism cause female infertility? One of the symptoms of hyperthyroidism can be irregular menstrual cycles, periods, which can make it difficult to get pregnant. Some people actually start reaching out to their healthcare provider because of issues becoming pregnant and then learn about a thyroid condition. 
Doctor, can I develop hyperthyroidism during pregnancy? During early pregnancy, your body needs to produce more thyroid hormones than normal to help the developing fetus. These hormones are particularly important for its brain and nervous system. Having thyroid hormone levels that are a little higher than normal is alright, but if your levels increase dramatically, your healthcare provider may need to form a treatment plan. High levels of thyroid hormones can impact not only you but also the fetus. It can be difficult to diagnose hyperthyroidism during pregnancy because your thyroid hormone levels naturally increase and the other symptoms of pregnancy mask signs of hyperthyroidism. Eating too many iodine-rich or iodine-fortified foods in your diet may cause hyperthyroidism or make it worse in some cases. If you have hyperthyroidism, your healthcare provider may recommend certain changes to your diet. Always consult your provider or a registered dietitian before making drastic changes to your diet. If you take medication for your hyperthyroidism, always take the amount prescribed by your provider. According to the National Institutes of Health NIH, the recommended daily dose of iodine is about 150 micrograms mcg. The daily dose is higher for pregnant people. A low iodine diet requires even less. Seafood has the most iodine. If your provider or dietitian has recommended a low iodine diet, try to avoid the following seafood and seafood additives, fish, crab, lobster, sushi, prawns, algae, alginate, nori, kelp. Other foods have high amounts of iodine, including milk and dairy products, cheese, egg yolks, iodized salt. Is hyperthyroidism the same thing as thyrotoxicosis? Hyperthyroidism is a type of thyrotoxicosis. Hyperthyroidism happens specifically when your thyroid gland both produces and releases excess thyroid hormone. Thyrotoxicosis happens when you have too much thyroid hormone in your body in general. You could have too much thyroid hormone by taking too much thyroid medication, for example. This would be thyrotoxicosis, not hyperthyroidism. The journey to managing hyperthyroidism had begun for Tanya. Regular follow-ups and adjustments to the treatment plan were essential to ensure her thyroid levels returned to normal, bringing back the balance to her life. The collaboration between Tanya, her GP, and myself emphasized the importance of a comprehensive healthcare approach in navigating thyroid disorders. As Tanya embarked on her treatment, the goal was not just to restore her physical health but also to bring back the joy and vitality that hyperthyroidism had momentarily taken away. The story of Tanya's health was now on a path of recovery and resilience, a testament to the importance of timely diagnosis and personalized care in the face of thyroid challenges. As our journey unfolds, we discover that Tanya's story is not just hers but could resonate with many. Changes in our bodies can be confusing and a bit scary, but understanding them is the first step to feeling better. We hope this story has shed some light on the mysteries of mood swings, rapid heartbeats, hair loss, and weight changes. Remember, you're not alone, and seeking help is a brave and important choice. If you or someone you know is going through similar experiences, reach out, ask questions, and let's support each other. Every story is unique, and together, we can make the path to well-being a little less daunting. If you liked Tanya's story and found the information helpful, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on more stories like Tanya's and get easy-to-understand insights about health. Join our community, and let's navigate the journey to well-being together. Subscribe now for more.